There are many ways I've seen manufacturers go wrong. First, manufacturers often use incorrect cleaners and or disinfectants, or fail to use a specific disinfectant when environmental monitoring data indicates issues. For example, the presence of gram-positive bacteria could indicate resistant spores are present. And keep in mind, not all disinfectants will kill spores. Not cleaning frequently enough to remove residue left by disinfectants is something else I've seen. To prevent these mistakes, training is absolutely critical. Individuals responsible for cleaning should understand the impact of not following procedures and understand why they are cleaning and disinfecting. Receiving hands-on training is very valuable, especially in neutral settings like PDA's Training and Research Institute. VHP is a very effective biodecontamination process. However, conditions such as temperature, humidity, VHP concentration, isolator configuration, and distribution of materials within the isolator can impact the efficacy of a cycle. Depending on the isolator, exposure and aeration times of a VHP cycle can be very long. There is concern about ingress of VHP into containers and the impact that might have on drug products. The instrumentation for measuring concentrations of hydrogen peroxide, especially during aeration when the concentration levels are low, is not as sensitive and or as accurate as we would like. Isolators offer a way to remove the human element from the aseptic process. However, the regulatory agencies do not consider these environments to be sterile. For this reason, traditional aseptic practices must be maintained even when filling within isolators. Cleaning and disinfecting remains a critical aspect of facility control, and in some cases, Cleaning and disinfecting may be more difficult due to the arrangement of equipment within the isolator and the configuration of the isolator itself. The regulatory agencies consider aseptic media fills to be very important for demonstrating process control with regard to microbial contamination. The expectation is that there will be no growth in media fill vials, and if there is growth, an investigation must be initiated, corrective actions implemented, and additional media fills completed. The rules have evolved over time as the expectations regarding positive results in the media fill were much different in the past.